All right, here's the next thing I want to do. I want to create a couple rabbits to accept these uh, pieces that are going to hold my, basically my shades, I guess. Uh, the top, the top and the slanted part here. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that with the table saw. I've got it set up and I'm just going to run those about an eighth of an inch deep or, or so. Uh, the depth of cut is really not that important. I guess it is important because I've got my fixture that's going to sit in there, but I've got plenty of room here. Um, so I'm going to just, I am going to cut it about an eighth. So that'll drop in there and that'll give me a nice place to register that when I glue it and keep it square that way. Then I'll drill my center hole uh, for the uh, for the electrical cord to go through. So let me get this going on those on both pieces and then we'll be right back. Yeah, my width the cut set with the with the actual piece here. And my depth is set to about an eighth. Uh, there we go.
one and then I'll, I'll show you the results here. Okay, there's what I'm looking for. And you can almost, you can tell with this plywood when you when you have a same depth of cut, you get that same color all the way through from that, from that lamination. So there it is, that's my shoulder. Nice and I'm just about flush here, just a little, like I say, just a hair long, but that'll sand right off. And uh, that's looking good. So this is the, so now I know that this is the inside. And then on the outside, I need to locate center here. And I need to, if this was my lights, if this was my light stand, I'm a, I need to make a rabbit here to accept that. And I'm also going to make a slight rabbit in the back of that going this way so that it's locked locked in in two directions when I glue that up. That will keep it from, from uh, wanting to move on me. There's not a lot of weight here, but if it gets bumped, I don't want it to, I don't want it to be coming loose. So I'm going to lay that out next and make that cut. All right, I'd like to say I planned this, but I didn't. Anyway, here's the here's what I've got. Uh, this piece is 49 inches, so I measure both directions and mark 24 and a half. And you can see I'm just a just a whisker off there. But I know that in between there is is true center. So I'm going to take my my little square here, and this is the part I was talking about. I saying I planned this. This blade is three quarters of an inch wide, so I know that if I split that difference right there and make a mark that's going to be one edge and the other side will be three quarters of an inch now I know this is my cut line right here so I can bring that up square the piece up here Right there. Okay. Now I'm going to put a clamp on this. And then I'm going to take my my knife and scribe that line. See if I'm still square here. Oops, can't go that way. It looks pretty good. Let me just, whoop, that's too much. Right there. All right. So that's where I want to make my first rabbit. Is on this one, on this piece anyway. This has got a new blade in here. I'll cut that, scribe that line, and this one. Now, come in here, straighten that up a little bit, because I was kind of going at an angle.
looks awful good to me. I need my cheaters on here. Double check it. Just expose that line right there, and the other is just exposed as well right right there all right so I'll cut this about an eighth of an inch deep I'll need to make this mark once I get that oh, uh, once I get this groove cut I'll place this in there flip it over and make my make my cuts the other way I think what I'll do, I might just do this by hand. I've got a router plane. Right here. And I think I might just come in here and cut this one out like that. Chance to use little hand tools. First, I want to take this out just a little bit. Hang on. Just establish this shoulder just a little bit here. I'm going to move the camera because I need to stand right where it is so I'll give you a different perspective here.
a little too aggressive with that one, but we'll just keep moving on here. Going across the grain. That was not very smart. Got lucky there. Going across the grain on this on this layer. So I'm just going to go about a quarter of a turn this time instead of a half. quarter turn here and then I'm gonna and I'm gonna turn some music on and just take my time thing about doing it this way and it's nice and quiet but the other thing is you're going to get a uniform depth all the way through this cut and you can see what I'm what I'm producing here is these little shavings but I know that this is going to be nice and consistent so I'll keep going until I get to the depth of cut I'm looking for, which is probably going to be about an eighth of an inch. And then uh, I'd say right now I'm at probably a 32nd. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I've got it down to uh, just about final depth here. And what I've been doing is I loosened this knob, which is my which tightens the cutter, uh, the cutter head, so it doesn't doesn't. Uh, go any further. So I loosen that. I'm going to turn this just a hair this time. Tighten this and now this is going to be my final depth of cut. So now I can tighten this knob right here. And that will pre uh, when I do my next one I'll end up with the exact same depth of cut. go. So that, I don't know, I probably spent about 15 minutes on this, but let's just see how this fits. That is nice. I don't think I could have done that on a table saw. I probably could, but I don't know if I'd have gotten that close. And the, the thing about doing it this way is, like I say, it's, it was very enjoyable. So I'm going to mark this as, uh, this is a B, so I'm going to put a B on the back side, or this side actually. It's actually going to go this way. So, there we go. That is nice. Okay, so let's mark this B, and this is a B, and I'm going to turn this over and do the same thing on this side. Make my scribe marks again from this to this, 
and route it to about the same depth and then that'll give me that nice interlock that I'm looking for. Very good. All right, let me let me get that set up. Okay, got it flipped over. <clears throat> now I'll just make my cuts here. This is actually going to get cut off, but I need this to have something for my plane to ride on. So I'll cut that off when I get done here. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to back this off. This stays locked. This comes unlocked. And I'll come back up. my B but that's all right I didn't establish my shoulder either got a little ahead of myself hang on here
Okay. Now back to the fun part. Okay, same thing basically back, just doing it uh, the repeat until I get to my depth of cut on my stop here. And then uh, we'll try the fit. So we'll be back after a few songs. Now well, here's a lesson learned. The depth stop, I, <laughs> I had the depth stop down here. That didn't do me any good. It needed to be up here on top. Luckily, I didn't go too far. I, I'm like, why, why won't it stop? And uh, so I went and checked it against my, my other piece, and I was just above it. So now I've set the depth stop, depth stop where it needs to be, and we're good. So I, I made my final cut. I thought, I'd, I, thought I'd, I was going to show you my final cut, but I've already made it because I've reached my depth of cut. Let's see how this fits. Get my B back in here. That is nice. Nice and tight. Alright, now I'm going to cut this.